Well, welcome back, everyone. We have Tom Grothaus here, our automotive expert. And but we're, we're going to actually switch things a little up a little switch bit. Switch things around. Yeah, huh? not really talking about automotives, but uh, we're going to be talking about something that we really haven't needed much this year. But and that's a good thing. It that's is a, a good, good thing, thing. But you know, we might need it. You know, towards after December, or January, <laughs> February. You know, weather is crazy. We're going to be talking about snow blowers. So give us a little bit of uh, in, insight on, on snowblowers and, you know, safety and maintenance and everything you need to know. I'm picking your brain today. Okay, well, uh, the first thing we have is we got different kinds of snowblowers. You got electric and gasoline. And we'll talk about a little bit about that. But, but the, the one we have now is the gasoline and the maintenance on it. Mm -hmm. And one thing about a snowblower, it gets very little maintenance. <laughs> We, we get it out when the snow's flying and you're trying to start it and it, it uh, may want to start and it'll only stay running if you keep the choke on. Well, that means that your idle circuit is plugged up, probably from the ethanol. And I, I say ethanol because what happens with very small orifices, 68 thousandths to 72 thousandths, about the size of a diameter of a needle. Oh. Okay. That's what you're dealing with. If you look at a water faucet, you have that little white stuff around the water faucet, that calcium buildup. Mm -hmm. you, know, you use a little vinegar to clean that out. That, that helps for a while, but it builds up over time. And that's what happens with the Venturis and the jets inside your carburetor. So if you use something to prevent that or to help lubricate that to get rid of it, that's one of the things you can do. And most of us, when we're done with the snowblower, we... Put it off to the side, and we hope we don't have to use it the rest of the year. That's and, what I do. <laughs> and next fall comes, and you think, should I go out there and try it? And uh -huh. then you got problems. So uh, there's two things you can do. You can use Marvel Mystery Oil, and you can use sea foam. Uh -oh. And you put that in. What that does is that puts a coating on those venturis and those uh, uh, orifices, mm -hmm. and it keeps the ethanol from eating into it, corroding that yeah. area. As I said, it's so small, but if you can visualize a faucet, you can see how it builds up over time and then plugs up your faucet. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one maintenance trick that you can do at the end of the year when you're done with it, or just leave it in all the time because it isn't that bad. But a lot of people don't know how to do it. They'll put it in with their gasoline and they think that's it. Well, what you do is what they call fogging for uh, marine engines and that is you will have very little gas in your gas tank, mm -hmm. and then you pour a lot of the sea foam or a lot of Marvel Mister oil in there, and then run it that way for about 10 minutes. A lot of smoke in that, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's called fogging it, and, and then you're done with it for the year. The best thing is to take out as much gas as you've got. Now, years ago, we used to have the gas tanks where you would shut them off, mm -hmm and you could drain the yep. bowl. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't do that, but Honda generators still do, because that's how they say, you know, you're not gonna use your generator all the time, so they go, here's what you do, and you drain that bowl, and that keeps it going. So those are two things there. Plugs, I mean, you can use your plugs forever. Now, sometimes on safety issues where people get hurt is the fact that they have a plug with their single stage or their two stage where it just plugs up the snow in there mm -hmm. and then they stick a stick in there or some of them even reach in with their gloves. I had one person that I know that stuck his hand in there and then it came loose and it moved just a quarter of an inch and took his finger off. Wow. So yeah. they're very sharp. Mm -hmm. They don't look sharp, but they're very sharp and deadly. Now to keep that snow from plugging up in there, Use some PAM spray, aerosol okay. spray, you know, some PAM, or you can use liquid wax like Pledge mm -hmm. when it's dry, stuff like that. Huh. Or WD-40, if you haven't done that and you got the snowblower out and you think, what am I supposed to do? Just spray some WD-40 in there every time you're ready to, to blow snow. So okay. that's, that's with the gasoline engines. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got the new ones. Yeah, electric. We've got the new ones because we're, we're buying gasoline lawnmowers and we're buying electric lawnmowers. Mm -hmm. So now that we're buying the electric lawnmowers, look at the, the electric snowblowers. And if you're looking at that, you might buy the same brand of 
snowblower as you do lawnmower because the batteries will be interchanged. True. That way you won't have a shortage of power. Right. And just like gasoline, you have to run over to the gas station to get the yeah. gasoline because you run out here in the middle of the winter. Batteries, you'll have two sets of batteries, and some snowblowers have two sets of batteries on them. Mm -hmm. So you can use them for your lawnmower or for others. So yeah. those, that's something new for, I think that, you know, for for us older people, <laughs> I love Experience gasoline. People. <laughs> Experienced people, okay. Experienced people, I love gasoline, but I hate it when I have to go out there and crank it and it doesn't yeah. start and then I have to mess with it. And usually for me, I can get it gone, but still it's that nuisance factor yep. where electric, you just plug the battery in, go out and yeah. use it. Well, Tom, thank you so much for letting thank us you. pick your brain today. And I know we're going a little bit outside your realm with the automotives, but going into snowblowers, but you're excellent. <laughs> Come back anytime. Okay. I love picking your brain. Thanks for the invitation. All right, Tom Grothaus from Automatic Expert. Don't go away. We have more than we return.